contest. A suitor would glance at his neighbour, jeering, taunting, look at our connoisseur of bows. Sly old fox, maybe he's got bows like it, stored in his house. That, or he's bent on making himself one. Look how he twists and turns it in his hands. The clever tramp means trouble. I wish him luck, some lord chimed in, as good as his luck in bending back that weapon. So they mocked. But Odysseus, mastermind in action, once he'd handled the great bow and scanned every inch, then, like an expert singer, skilled at lyre and song, who strains a string to a new peg with ease, making the pliant sheep go faster at either end. So, with his virtuoso ease, Odysseus strung his mighty bow. Quickly, his right hand plucked the string to test its pitch, and under his touch, it sang out clear and sharp as a swallow's cry. Horror swept through the suitors, faces blanching white. 